I bet you want to open your car like this. Boom, it's unlocked with flipper zero. This key fob belongs to the Dacia. It has two buttons, unlock and lock, and it operates on 433.92 MHz. As you can see, everything works. I can lock and unlock the car. But I want to do the same with Flipper Zero, so let me show you how. First, go outside of the key fob range so signal will not reach the car. And let's pull out the frequency analyzer. Go sub gigahertz and second last is frequency analyzer. Push key for buttons and as you see it shows 433.9 something. Now go back, read raw, make sure you are on 433.92 megahertz and let's capture key fobs unlocking signal. Here we go, nice spike. Now stop and save it. I will capture locking signal as well, just because I can, and also I want to show you what can be done. Let's see, key fob, we don't need this for now. Let's replay captured signal. Go sub gigahertz, saved and I saved it as unlock car. Send it. Voila! The car is open using flipper zero. Now, because cars are using rolling codes, it will work only once, as you see. But, we have a saved signal to lock the car. So let's do it. Car is locked. And that's it. Rolling code feature won't allow us to use same code more than once. On some cars you can desync your key fob and it will require special procedure to fix it. However, I did this trick on few cars and never had any issues. Check my other Flipper Zero videos with the new Peugeot and old V-Dub. And stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching and see you next time.